Hi all, this is Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. Okay, now this will be for October 23. Um, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also remember, time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa. All right. My bracelet. Okay, there it is. Ooh. Twin flame. And then you also have Ice Queen in reverse. This is rather interesting. Um, so there's a lack of communication with the situation that you may have, or you may think people are, or somebody in particular is a twin flame um but it may actually turn out to be a karmic um you're not using your discernment when it comes to this person and if it's not you there's possibly i'm getting you're not using your discernment but also somebody i don't know whether someone ghosted you or whether Maybe they see you as somebody who is like too full on. Um, yeah, but there's definitely a lack of lack of communication. So I'm getting that somebody could have ghosted you or stopped talking to you. Um, but maybe you didn't see this coming. This could be somebody who, you know, you thought this relationship was effortless. You thought that this was definitely going to be your person. But I just feel like that's not how they saw it. interesting look you've got the high priestess and it actually says on the card discernment um you need to trust your intuition when it comes to this person for sure i feel like this person you know brings you a lot of joy this is also number 37 three and seven is 10 and one and zero is one so this is about 10 being endings one being a new beginning um I feel like there are so many signs that either you're not seeing, you're not paying attention to. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, I feel like it's one-sided. I feel like this is, like I get the feeling you think everything's fine. I also could get, um, not also get, sorry, could, not, could get. Also, I've got a billion thoughts going through my head. Um, I also get that somebody's mother or like ex-partner maybe, um, there's something about them. And either it, you may even not be like, if you've met them, you're not using a discernment when it comes to those people either. So I'm getting like, could be a third party, um, as in maybe family or ex. Um, but yeah, there's definitely no communication. Um, and as I said, then you get the high priestess talking about discernment. So that is number two. Number twos are about a choice in a partnership. On the bottom, You've also got independent, we've got the cat, which is independence and healthy boundaries. Number 18, eight and one is nine. So you're coming to an end of something and it will end and there will be a new beginning, but you've definitely got this choice regarding some sort of partnership. And I feel like that's because you need to be okay on your own. You know, if it's about money, you need to be able to 
pay for yourself, pay for your bills. Like you don't need anyone else, right? So make sure that you can afford to pay for yourself. Trust is also important. And I feel like you need to be able to trust somebody. Um, I don't know if you're like trying to restrict somebody and what they do because of fear from the past. But yeah, I feel like there's definitely things that you still need to work on. Um, and you do need to have healthy boundaries when it comes to this situation. You may even be getting like dreams, visions, something. The universe is trying to give you, you know, messages that may help your situation. Um, yeah, as I said, one-sided. I did say that, one-sided. Um, I feel like somebody else is very, like it could be your your partner or whoever this is they're very self-absorbed i don't know if you're picking people that specifically look good like it's it's all about their looks and unfortunately you know you're picking the wrong type of people um because i'm i don't know i just had this like vision in my head of somebody getting ready and taking longer than you do or, you know, looking in the mirror all the time, that kind of situation. Um, you, I, I feel like though you don't want to separate from this person. Um, yeah, there's things that you still need to work on. Like I said, there's releasing some sort of past, healing your inner child, evolving, growing, um, there's things that you're, you don't know. And once again, this could be because you're not trusting your intuition or you're not using a discernment when it comes to some somebody, um, maybe because it is all about their looks or about sex. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit going on there. Um Just keep hearing, use your discernment, use your discernment. Okay, too many theories. What's that saying about depth? There's that saying about depth. I just feel like you need to kind of be aware with how deep you're getting, you know, involved in somebody. Um, you know, you're making this person, I guess, like more important than other people or other, you know, yeah, other people in your life. Um, I f just feel like there's, there's things you don't know and there's things that, yeah, you need to really pay attention to. Yeah. All right. Tell me more. You have a fear of abandonment, um, maybe because you've been rejected um, in the past. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some sort of um, something unexpected, but I do feel like you're trying to avoid it. You're trying to av avoid, it's like the inevitable um yeah because this is this person or relationship is like an addiction to you it's like more infatuation um more than love 
Yeah, and as I said, there's going to be some sort of silence. This person is just going to stop communication. As I said, whether it's ghosting you, um, and they may want to return and, you know, be like, I'm so sorry, you know, that I ghosted you, you know. Hmm. As I said, use your discernment is all I've got to say. Yeah, this, they haven't learnt from their mistakes because they're in reverse. Have you learnt from yours? I don't know whether it's you or them, but somebody here needs to stop playing the victim. Um, they're not misunderstood. They, they need to own up to the mistakes they've made. Um, yeah. And what did I say? Third parties. Look, influences. Somebody is definitely, there is definitely some sort of family or ex, mother, something. And, um, yeah, there's secrets as well. There's, there's either something going on with their, they could be coming between you and somebody that you think is possibly your twin flame. Also that there's a lack of communication and this person ghosts you because they had to make a choice. Um, and as I said, 37 is about endings. Um, and they are going to ghost you or there's going to be some sort of silence here. Um, it's going to make you feel rejected. Um, hmm. I just feel like my head really hurts. <laughs> I'm getting like heavy and, and like I've got so many thoughts. I just saw 12, 1, 2, 2, 1, like a mirror number. Um, maybe Google that. But yeah, I've just, my head feels like it weighs a ton. You've got book and it's in reverse. As I said, there are secrets, there are things that you do not know. Um, yeah. Way too many. You, you could be chasing after this situation, after this relationship or whatever this is, um, but you need to release it so you can get fulfillment. You also need to have an emotional release, so maybe you need to have a good cry. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of obstacles here. Um, Yeah, they, I want to say somebody in this situation um, is deceptive, but I feel like they fit in. So um, what do I mean by that? I'm trying to say that. So if they're with this, say they're with this person, this mum, say this mother is the one causing problems. When they're with their mum, they're all like bad mouthing you. Then when they're with you, they're bad-mouthing their mum and, oh, standing up for you. But they see both sides, but I feel like they are kind of being deceptive because they're taking both sides. And it's also very changeable. Like, they'll agree with them, they'll agree with you, they'll, you know. Um, and the card itself is the end, and I just feel like that's, how it's going to end. Oops. Give me one second. Yeah, what did I say? Third party. Somebody else. Some sort of woman. So as I said, this is like 
a girlfriend, fiance, spouse, feminine energy in this person's life. And the fact that there's mother or divorcee. You've got a lot of twos that keep coming up as well, I want to say. Um, because you've got the high priestess, number two. You've got the woman, which is number 29, nine and one is 11. 11 one and one is two. Um, and then you've got the falcon, number two. So you're going to have to trust your intuition, um, make some changes. There is going to be some sort of transition. You are going to have to rise above this person and this situation. Um, yeah. I don't know why this person oh my god they're all flicking over look i don't know why this person is causing problems in your life um maybe because they're possessive they like to control their you know child um There needs to be a balance but also freedom so this person needs to be able to make their own decisions they need to like cut the cord with their you know parent as such um, yeah this is like rise above whatever this whatever this person's doing it's like rise above There's definitely a lot of um, like feelings when it comes to this. You know, you've got worry beads, but it's in reverse. It just reminds me of like the nine of swords. Um, you need to release all those, you know, the worry and the fear and the anxiety. And, you know, I feel like, yeah, this makes you feel a whole, you know, certain way um but you are going to be moving on look you got the train so whether you're going by train or you're i don't know but you are going to you are going to move on as i said i just feel like there's way too many obstacles here when it comes to this situation um you've also got three nines as well and you've got the cat which is 18 and one is nine um because you've got worry beads number nine you've got ballet shoes number nine and you've got unlikely in reverse number nine um when it comes to moving on it's like you are resisting like this is unlikely um but it's in reverse so it's like it is likely you will move on. Do you want to? The answer is no in reverse. So I feel like um, you may not want to or you, you know, but you know you need to and you will. Um, this is causing you, I feel like, a lot of, like, headaches, poor health, um, you know, like once you get stressed, stress can cause freaking horrible things in our body. It can cause disease. It can cause so many things. Um, but, yeah, I feel like you need to stop worrying. Um, I feel like you're okay on your own. I, I think it just comes back to you having healthy boundaries, you being independent, and, you know, when things keep coming up, you know that you need to put an ending to this situation. You're not willing to um, keep putting up with someone's crap, 
is what I want to say. Um, Seven of Swords, yeah, dishonesty, someone's being very cunning. Um, okay, can I have a couple more cards, please? Yeah, it, it pretty much says what the other oracle cards have said um there's definitely um another female like i said um somebody is definitely deceptive and dishonest and i feel like that is somebody who they could um be this person who is their mom um, who they see as, you know, very dependable and secure. It's like if they need them, they're there. They, they, this is the, as I said, they need to kind of cut the strings from their mum. Like stop being a mum's boy you or girl, whatever. You need to be able to be independent and stand up, you know, you know, do things for yourself, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I feel like somebody here is definitely being deceptive and because they are possessive that comes back to them being possessive and not wanting their child to have somebody else in their life and you are in their life right so they are doing something deceptive to prevent this relationship or to stop this relationship um it's going to take strength for you to kind of you know um move away from this it's going to take strength it's going to take self-control like you need to take back your power right you're in control of your life don't let anyone else and this person is going to want to come back they're going to want forgiveness they're going to be like I shouldn't have done that i'm so sorry but like you've got to really think this through because is anything going to change like i feel like when it's just like when it's you two there's romance they come in all chivalrous like you know like prince charming but you are not you are not a pair you are not twin flames it's more about sex and you know um what do I want to say, um, like intimacy and affection and passion and, you know, all those things. Um, I mean, this is definitely your card. The Queen of Wands is Aries card and that is you. Um, this other person. They, are, they could be this mother or whoever could be a capricorn don't have to be but could be um all right let's clarify on the bottom as well what's on the bottom here four of swords in reverse this as i said is like exhausting you know you don't want to keep doing this anymore it's like as i said it becomes like too hard too much too hard too stressful just too much all right so tell me what are they doing i i feel like you're You're trying to kind of find meaning in why this person is doing what they're doing. Um, 
and you know behaving the way they are and um but i also i feel like with the temperance card that you need to remember that you're in control of you and how you respond do you want to be mature and walk away do you want to um i just feel like you know you want to you want to be in a place where you don't have stress you don't have anxiety you don't have worry you don't you're not trying to stop you know some sort of ending happening you know it's all too hard too hard basket like you would be so much calmer and yeah without this person and their whoever mother or whatever in your life um that's also number five um did we speak about fives before no i think we spoke about a different number um you've also got the two of cups in reverse and the world like both of these are separation like this this relationship is just not working right as much as you may still feel like something is not complete or there needs to be you know maybe you didn't get closure because this person ghosted you or um whatever i just i just feel like this is not yeah if you feel rejected i Man, I feel like this person that you're with is going to choose their mum, ex, whoever. Um, yeah, look, lack of commitment. They're not committed to you. They made their decision and I feel like it's unfortunately not you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Aries. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, it's like, hmm, which one do I want to choose? They definitely have a choice. Um, it's like, what's their priority? There's definite secrets. There's the high priestess. You've got the high priestess up there, discernment and, you know, trusting your intuition. And then here it is in reverse. It's like you know that this person is doing things to and they're being secretive and look third party um i just it's like you know right i just feel like you know you know that this person is not good um yeah look they're trying to cause an ending um yeah i don't know whether they feel like you can't give this or you you know you they want their their child to have security and a happy family life and you know financial success and whatever right and i feel like you they think you can't give that to them um or there's some yeah there's something about because you've got the high priestess and the high priestess. You've also got the the pentacles, two of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Like there's something about money. There's also, I feel like this is never going to be a happy family life because this person doesn't like you for whatever reason. And they're trying to get rid of you for whatever reason. Um, I want to ask about the six of cups. Why is the six of cups here? The Hierophant. I don't know whether you're married to this person or planning on being married to this person. Um, maybe, you know, you thought you both had the same values and expectations um or maybe they you know
maybe you know you're turning or they're turning to like um either readings or or you know some sort of spirituality or whatever religion something to try to get some help um i mean this is as i said this is never going to be happy families there is going to be some sort of new offer coming in um and i feel like it's going to be this person is going to want you know say i'm very um please forgive me i shouldn't have taken their side blah 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 but i just feel like you're going to be thinking about all this hard work and and you know all of the the time that you've spent with this person um but this person is never going to fulfill your wishes because i feel like it's always going to be this awkward with you, with their family and you know they will have to go to family do's without you and it's never going to work and so there needs to be some sort of ending with the death card now um yeah i i can't see this succeeding and i mean just from the other cards i feel like you're gonna end up having to take a new opportunity and this opportunity may be somebody else that's going to come in and be a romantic let's find out is this knight of cups somebody new tell me about this knight of cups why is that there no this is that person this is still that person that there's not going to there's going to be broken families arguments disputes like this is because somebody's possessive as i said to you somebody is possessive so this person is going to come in and be all chivalrous and oh my god i'm you know i really want to be with you i'm so sorry for taking my mum exes whatever side and um you know i really want to be with you i'm disappointed with whatever happened and now i want to get back together here i am being all you know lovely and chivalrous and whatever um but let's find out what you're gonna do tell me about aries It's all about taking time to think before you act because you have curiosity like can this work will this person really you know to have my back and and whatever and i'm gonna say no is what i'm gonna say um you need to free yourself you know this person is not free this person is as i said it's like there's got a there's a saying but like you need to have a new beginning because this person it's like i'm gonna say they are a mama's boy mama's girl whatever this person has no intention of stopping talking to seeing whatever this person that's coming between you and them because they're possessive and um you know this other person i don't know what they're getting from this other person but like there is no um like i just want to say there is no commitment with, with you like i feel like they take sides and i don't think i just don't think they're taking yours like they don't have your back here they they if it comes between you and their mom or whoever they're going to choose them they're not going to choose you and you will never win um yeah ever i mean there's so many cards to say death endings um yeah so use your discernment and i feel like you know walk away it's never going to get any better um you just need to accept that but that is what i have all right thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time okay bye